everyone, so it's me, and today is August 16th, and um, I am officially nine days out from my surgery, hopefully, keeping our fingers crossed. I have not heard anything back yet, definitive from my surgeon, um, on the, the liver, liver situation, so, but anyway, so I'm just going to move forward as if it's happening, but, um, so, one of the things that I think I've mentioned is that my doctor has said I have to lose 10 pounds prior to surgery. So it's nine days out and I haven't lost any weight, so we need to take drastic measures. And some surgeons, before you have gastric bypass surgery, make you go on a liquid diet, I guess to clean your system out to start the weight loss process. Um, my doctor doesn't require that, however, um, I kind of have to do it. I don't really have a choice because I need to lose this weight. Um, in nine days. So, with that said, I, um, I'm not doing a full liquid diet, I'm just doing, no, I'm not doing a clear liquid diet, I'm doing a full liquid diet. And I went grocery shopping and I just thought I would kind of show you the things that I would be eating for the next nine days. So, let's see. Okay. First, very importantly, um, and this will go on beyond my surgery, and excuse my lovely white trash nails, but these are um, Centrum Chewables, and I need to take two of these every day. I think two. I have to read again. It's either two or a half at breakfast and a half at dinner, but twice a day I need to take a vitamin. And it is chewable because I won't be able to swallow um, a full pill with the water. So that's that. Um, and then we have, here we go, there's the soups. And I really, I thought I was only going to have chicken broth and beef broth, but one of my friends online suggested that I get some more flavorful foods, and then I can just um, strain them, and they'll taste better. Uh, so there's that. And then we have yogurt. I'm not a big fan of yogurt, but I'm sure after a couple of days of not eating any food, I will eat anything. So this is the light and fit strawberry, but there's a really good one. Is this it? Oh, yeah. This is, I don't know if you can read that, white chocolate raspberry. That might be a favorite of mine. So I got a bunch of different flavors. Um, it was also, well here, this is, I am going to need protein, because protein does help you lose weight. So I got this lovely carnation, no sugar added. Um, you can see that two times the protein um, and calcium of yogurt, whatever that means. It's sweetened with Splenda. There is no sugar. Um, let's see, so I'm going to mix this up with milk, I guess, oh, and speaking of milk, ugh. I think in my old age I might be getting a little lactose intolerant, so the nutritionist suggested some lactate, but it's uh, of the low fat variety, I could not do the non-fat, I, it just, I wouldn't do it, so, but notice I got a very small one, so we'll see how that works out. Um, what else, okay, so then... For sweet stuff, I got some Edie's fruit bars with no sugar added. They're also sweet and with Splenda. And the no sugar added fudge sickles. Now these I cannot have, I believe after surgery, for a certain period of time. But during this phase, um, I will be having those. So, and then we have, oh, Sugar-free strawberry jello. I suppose I can eat these until my heart's content. Um, 10 calories per snack pack. Um, and then these sugar-free reduced calorie pudding. There's 60 calories. Um, well, I don't know how many servings. If there's like one of those. Okay, it says one serving per snack pack. So, okay. Sometimes it says 60 calories, and then you read it, and there's two servings, so it's 120 calories. I also picked this up, which will be, like, become an appendage. I need to drink 64 ounces of water um, a day beyond surgery. This is actually 70 some odd, um, 2.2 liters, 74 ounces. So this will be my constant companion. This is my new friend. Um, for my protein shakes, which I will be doing, that's the carnation breakfast shake, but after the surgery I'll be um, on a different type of 
shake, but it's, I like the tip because I can't drink out of a straw, so I can't really gulp. So this is kind of like a sippy cup. So that might be cool. And it has this carabiner on it. I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to attach it to. But whatever. And then I'm going to try these. To I really am not a big fan of water. Although if it's really good water and cold with ice, I will drink it. But I've got these Dasani Plus. Um, and they're zero calories per serving. There's no sugar. So we'll give these a whirl too. I've got a bunch of different flavors. So, oh, did I mention this? No, I don't think I did. This is really not liquid at all, but someone did say I should have this if I get, if I'm in need of a treat. And apparently, I love ricotta cheese in lasagna and manicotte, but um, apparently if you eat that alone and you add a little sugar and cinnamon, it um, resembles rice pudding, which I love. So, we shall see. But, so, um, that's it. Today is day number one. And I will, hopefully, I haven't had anything solid today. Um, and a big motivator was I just flew back from Denver last night and had to sit in the middle seat for four hours. And um, if that wasn't a humiliating experience, I don't know what was. So. I will check back in with you tomorrow for day number two.